Hey guys, just thought I'd give you a short little video here just to show you. Uh, this is uh, part four, I guess, of the sunset painting. I purchased this print today at Staples. My printer's out of ink, so I, uh, I had to run over there and get some prints. So while I was there, I got some prints of my um, future paintings that I will be doing. I really like that one, the uh, out of focus candles with the background and then the flame. Went to the air show and I know that the light's reflecting on this picture, but there's a lot of out of focus distortion, heat distortion and stuff in that one. And uh, you know, some sunsets that I've taken. I like to do all originals. I like to work on the clay board and I really, like working off of a hard copy as opposed to seeing it on a computer screen because this is something I can, if I make a number of them, I can test colors. I can even put the color, I could spray a, a sample and put it on here and get better matches and stuff. But I've got, I got a ways to go with the, uh, the, the sunset. You can see I've got some, a lot of orange and different things I've got to put in. Once that tree's put in though, um, it's going to really make it look like nighttime. Uh, this particular picture here is a little bit, well, I guess it is purple, but here I need to make a little more uh, in the cloud at the bottom. I need to have more red violet or something in the gray. So I'll just be uh, working on it a little bit before I actually uh, do a do a new painting of a you know the, the actual video of me painting I'll be doing a little bit on this area here the sky to kind of tweak it because I like to work in the upright position okay like this this way it's more comfortable I can do my best that way I'll explain what I did and I'll get so some of this area will be kind of tweaked and then we'll get to uh, painting this I'll show you how to paint this with the airbrush a little bit and even the uh, conventional brush, the fine brush to paint. You can do it either way, as long as you uh, don't have thick, you know, acrylic paint or something. I'm gonna use the airbrush paint, actually. All right, so I just wanted to show you my setup here a little bit, some of the future projects. My desk, uh, like I said, I have the holder here. This is what I use to film. I put the cell phone in there and I collapse this desk here, which is the wooden one, this one, it just folds. This is a glass top desk. And then from there, I, uh, I take the camera and I go down, aim down so that you guys can see much better, straight on view. But again, uh, it's a little harder, for me. it's a lot harder for me to paint in that position. Uh, but anyway, I just wanted to show you a little bit of how I go about things here. Obviously we have the Micron SB and we've got the HP Plus, both great airbrushes. We've got a lot of other type of airbrushes. We've got the Eclipse and the, uh, you know, the gravity feeds and different ones that have the bowls on top, all for the school uh, so that the students can do different types of things. Again, we have you know, the projects like the uh, T-shirts, Betty Davis and the Grinch there. It's on a T-shirt. Oh, yeah, this lamp. I wanted to show you the lamp. When I was at Drew Blair's, I purchased this. We were all offered the opportunity to buy one of these. It's a magnifier. It's a color correct lighting. Okay, so we've got... So if you want to get in there and really see your artwork minute details it's great it's got the great lighting it's called daylight i think yeah it's on there daylight anyway i just will wrap this up now i'm going to be airbrushing this over the weekend i'll get the video up and let you guys see the next stage all right so thanks for checking it out Again, I, I'm looking for subscribers, people that are really interested in the airbrush. I will be doing some watercolors and other things that I teach that are not just airbrushing. And uh, 
we'll just see what I do over the next months. Uh, what I feel like adding in to get interest for people that want to uh, draw better or just have fun with acrylics and things like that. All right. So, I mean, here's one more thing and then we'll close it out. All right. So we have, when I had my store, we would have little signs. I just bought this at the local craft store and just airbrushed the colors right onto it. So it's fun. You know, you can airbrush on 3D. Op you guys know that you can airbrush on pretty much a stucco wall or anything. So these are the projects I'm looking at and I'll see you real soon on the uh, continuation video and uh, look for it very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.